In this video, I'll show you how to turn your WooCommerce store into an app. Let's get straight into it. For example, I'll show you how you can create a WooCommerce app, whether it's for an Android device or even an iOS device. Here you can see our app store for Android devices and iOS ones just loading, right? We can click on a product, for example, this one. And this is a live preview from our web store as well, right? We can add it to our basket. We can view cart and then we can check out all from the app. Again, this is the iOS version, right? We've got our Hello World posts and we can shop for products as well. So if you want to create a similar setup to this for your WooCommerce store, I'll show you how to do so. It's worth mentioning that this particular video is based on this article here, where it lists a few different methods in how you can actually create your own app store. So you'll see the written version of how to create it using a plugin, how to use a third party app builder, or even hiring a developer as well. So I'll leave a link to this particular article in the description below. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we want to do is actually sign up for an account on this My App site here. Okay, let's hit get started. And we're going to create our first app, right? So this is a WooCommerce app. We'll give it a name. So we'll say AOV App Store. We'll enter in our website URL here and then hit create. So we've got this handy checklist to guide us through the setup process, right? So for example, we can go ahead and customize our app icon first. We can start designing or we can upload an image if we've already got a design of our app. So I'm going to hit start designing for now. I'm happy with this design, so we'll hit save. Now we can go ahead and customize our splash screen. So we'll hit start designing. Again, if you've already got this um, mapped out and designed already, you can just upload it. So we can also choose from the predefined templates that they've provided for us, or we can just choose to customize our own, like what I've been doing. I actually like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. Let's hit save. Now let's customize the login and sign up page. Again, we can upload our design or we can create one. Okay. Now let's go ahead and configure our color theme. Okay, now let's move on to our home screen. Okay, so we can remove the home header, which doesn't make sense, but you could do if you wanted to. We can also customize it. So again, a lot of these options, I'm just going to skip through and you can go ahead and tweak it as needed, right? Essentially, we've got the option here to customize it. And then we can see a preview of how it will look. For our customers based on the device that they're using as well. Maybe we want to disable the product category, right? We want to show on sale items. Okay. And then once you're happy, you can just hit save changes. Here we can customize the navigation on the bottom bar of the screen. So we've got the home link, which makes sense, a shop link category, and any other videos you might have as well. So here we'll just enter in our YouTube channel. Just hit save it changes once you're happy with everything. We can go menu. And to have access to the settings, we need to connect our store to my app website, right? So I'm just going to head over to connectivity here. I'm going to download the plugin. Or we can just hit install here. Since we've already entered in our website beforehand, it will automatically take us over to this page. So we can hit install and then we can activate it. Okay, so I've just generated a plugin key. So I'm going to copy this and then we just need to enter it in here, right? So we'll click my app site. We'll enter in our license key. We'll submit it. Okay, so that's saved fine. Now let's head back over here and we'll verify the connection. Okay, so it's connected, which is great. Now we need to head over to grant access. We'll click on WooCommerce here, and then we need to enter in our API key, right? So we'll head back over to our dashboard, then we'll navigate over to WooCommerce and then settings and then advance and then rest API. Let's hit create API key. We can add a description here. So for example, we can say, okay, the user's admin and then the permission is read slash write, and then we'll hit generate API key. So I'm going to copy over this consumer key here and then let's paste it in here let's copy the secret key as well and then let's paste it in here and now let's hit verify 
So here it shows that it's been connected fine, which is great. OK, so since we've connected everything now, when we go to navigation, we can actually configure our menu now. OK, so for example, we've got the home page, shop page, categories, blog, about and so on. And we can add new menu as well. We can even choose the menu based on our website. Now we can actually preview how our app will look. So we'll hit preview here. OK, and we can test it on iPhone and Android as well. OK, so we can preview how our app will look on iOS or even on Android. So I'm going to select Android for now. And this is how our store will look on Android devices. OK, so we can scroll up. We can go ahead and click on a product. So again, this is live products from our website. You can add to cart and then go ahead and check out. So once you're happy with your app, then you do need to purchase a monthly subscription, which starts from $19 at the time of recording this, right? And then you can go ahead and submit it onto the Android store or even the Apple store, right? So you'll just hit publish. And then of course you need to upgrade, right? So we're running a WooCommerce app, which starts from $19 a month. Okay, so we'll select this one. Okay, then you can choose your plan and then go ahead. There's even a lifetime package, which I wasn't aware of. So if you didn't like the monthly fee, then you can choose a one-time payment. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.